वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगम में असं गलबात करेंगे डॉक्टर सुमन नाल तो एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण विषय से गलबात होएगी डॉक्टर सुमन पीस ट्री सुसायी चला रहे हैं तो एक स्पिरिचुअलिस्ट भी ने तो इन्हों का मतलब मकसद हों कि हमेशा ही अपने तो बाहर निकल के जो असी सोचा तो बेहतरी ही होएगी अच्छ समाज में सब तो वही प्रॉब्लम पही है कि तीन जड़े ने साडे बहुत सारे चैलेंजस फेस कर रहे हैं घर का वातावरण वक्रा है बाहर का वातावरण वक्रा है बहुत सारे उन्होंने प्रैशरस ने सो वट काइंड ऑफ चैलेंजस आर द टीन फेसिंग टूडे and how we can help them what kind of solutions they can see let's talk about this particular issue with dr suman today welcome to the program namaste harpreet ji namaskar ji thank you so dr suman jab hum teens ki baat karte hain hamesha hi teens ki problems to rahi hain par aaj ke samaj mein kuch aur hi tarike se unki problems jo hain samne aa rahi hain and that is leading to lots of uh, you know lots of youngsters getting involved with drugs or yep. going for crime or you know becoming a uh, Uh, lots of people are mm-hmm. getting also anxiety and pressure and tense uh, so all this tension is leading to you know lots of other issues also so from what perspective do you see this problem and what is the solution for this excellent thank you very much for a fantastic question yes teens are the most affected and in fact teens are the future of this Absolutely, world yeah. without them there is no world the future we can't see mm-hmm. right they are the eyes of our future mm-hmm. uh, but like you said they are going through many challenges simple challenges like self esteem self image peer pressure social media mm-hmm. addiction addicted to social media tv and of course further into drugs like you said right and then uh, there are a lot of challenges they are going on a day to day basis they are not sure about their future mm-hmm. and that results in a lot of problems that we are seeing in the society today mental emotional dysfunction mood disorders learning disabilities insomnia sleeplessness anxiety depression all of this are happening right. because the root is self image self uh, esteem lack of self esteem lack of self confidence mm-hmm. and now if you look at the r- why these things are happening there are two aspects to it mm-hmm. one is internal and other is external right internal will talk in terms of brain and the changes that a teenager goes through mm-hmm. uh, in terms of brain and nervous system right. and the external is teachers parenting and as a society what we can do mm-hmm. so if you look at a teen brain very interestingly the brain as we know is growing right it's changing mm. and a lot of people when they are in teenagers teenage we think that oh it's all because of the hormones mm. right the attitude yeah, that they go through it, right yeah. the rebel is attitude and all of that yeah. uh, but if you actually closely look at it there is hormonal uh, changes that is happening but more importantly mm. the challenge that they are going through in fact i don't even call it as a challenge it's an opportunity actually for them and for us as parents right because we don't realize that it's an opportunity we start to have that friction between mm-hmm. teenagers and the parents right or the adults the reason is the brain when it starts to grow like any other part of the body it's changing from the time of birth mm-hmm. and it continues to change actually till 20 25 years age right. we don't realize it mm. we we see a teenager and we think that is grown up right. no they are not grown up mm-hmm. and they don't realize it we don't realize it right. because there is this a uh, process in the brain called gray matter pruning mm. right what is happening is the first part of the life cycle life the parts of the brain that are responsible for movement spatial recognition Uh, memory sensory input emotions these are the parts of the brain that are developed right, right? and those are the most active parts of the mm-hmm. brain but as you start to become an adolescent the gray matter starts to prune and the other part of the brain called prefrontal cortex which is right behind your forehead mm. that's like the decision making system that's sure. your breaking system that's right and that's the ceo of your brain yeah. and all the research says that the prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that develops last Mm. and no wonder when we look at teenagers mm. they are so quick they are so you know fast and they are not thinking when they are making a decision mm-hmm. and all of this is because the brain is actually undergoing change right and we don't realize that and then we think oh my god he has an attitude she has an attitude why is she doing that why is she not thinking that is because hey the brain is not fully developed absolutely so as a parent it's mm-hmm. our responsibility to help them prune it properly just like a gardener right you know how you prune a plant mm-hmm. you put a rose bush right? right it starts to grow wild in different ways what mm-hmm. do you do as a gardener you prune it you trim it and you make it work the way you want grow the way you want mm-hmm. same way as a parent i think first right. next teachers in the society comes into the picture where we can start to prune that because brain is very smart you can change the way you want your brain to grow mm-hmm. right but unfortunately if you look at any of our lives 
teenage is the time they are going through challenges right. at the same time adults are also going through challenges a lot right. of midlife crisis yeah. career crisis mm -hmm. we are busy we want to make big we want to earn money mm -hmm. parents are busy are they in tune with the changes happening in tune no they are like hey, hey don't do this you don't do that and they sell a couple of things and then just go right. there is no empathy there is no understanding and oh my dear this is the changes that are happening let me know how i can support right, but that's so the reason this is the reason is because probably the parents also don't know about the complexity and they Beautiful. it's generally thought that you know everybody passes through this phase yes but we don't understand and realize as parents that now times have changed yes uh, there are a lot of other pressures also which the child yeah. is facing yes mm -hmm. yes absolutely and there is other pressures like you said and knowledge the right. knowledge is not there and that is what we are doing with peace street right? giving parents and teens that knowledge and saying hey this is your body right. this is your mind these are the emotions mm. if you can handle these three things very well then boom you can do whatever you want in your life you mm -hmm. can achieve anything that you want to do in your life right right so now then how do we like i have seen so many people who come to sunita ji right mm -hmm. um, and teenagers is youngsters like people from 5 year old they come to sunita ji and mm. to learn sukshma and all this uh, meditation and yoga right and what i have seen is they don't have to you don't have to even tell them to do anything because what happens in sukshma in sunita's presence is they are experiencing that pure energy again mm -hmm. right beyond the mind and body and i have seen these people oh my god how did how did we not know this mm -hmm. right and i told sunita ji many times i'm like oh my god i came to you when i'm 33 wish i came to you when i was 13 <laughs> right? right i would have been in a completely different state and completely different person right. today so at that time because i myself if i look my own life i went through a lot of challenges as a teen mm -hmm. i was very shy very sensitive very emotional and people used to call me suman you're so sensitive you're so emotional and all that mm -hmm. and i was i had a lot of fear right. right and i continued to carry that through throughout my adult life mm. but until i came to sunita ji and until i started to get that knowledge right. about my body and mind i'm like oh my god wish i had this mm -hmm. knowledge for me but at least now with that knowledge i'm able to make a difference in my children's life and the other children's life another issue which uh, generally is heard in our community is as parents you know when they with the children are facing some issues or at home there are some issues which are growing up generally it is said now when you, when you talk to them and say that you need to you know behave or uh, in, uh, you know deal with the children in a different manner they say now is this the time that we as parents need to learn something absolutely that is a point which needs to be worked upon in the community what do you feel because you deal with a lot of parents yes, yes. because that attitude what we have that we know everything yep. and yep. we do not need to change is the child which needs to change so is that a right attitude and it if is. not what needs to be done it is it is absolutely in fact mm -hmm. uh, there is a very good book called conscious parenting right, right? in fact uh, dr shifala she is the writer she is mm -hmm. originally from india settled right. in us fantastic book called conscious parenting okay. and the entire book is about how to be the change mm. how to be the change she says in fact kids are a reflection of us they are reflecting our behaviors our attitudes right. so every time you are telling your child your daughter or your son immediately come back and look at yourself mm -hmm. look at yourself they are mimicking that from you they are right. mimicking and i keep reminding that in my own family i say you know what teenagers are actually amazing they come into our life of course mm -hmm. children come to into our life we think that you know it's a blessing and all that yes it is a blessing because it's a, it's a reason for us to change actually right. <laughs> to look at ourselves and say hey wait a second here you got to fix yourself right right and of course uh, we we have lots of ways to approach how we can handle this teenage challenges too mm -hmm. Right. So, what kind of uh, solutions would you provide us today? You know, for to the viewers today, especially yeah. the parents, w where to start and how to start? Yeah. So, for parents and then teens, right? Yeah. Let's focus on both. Yeah. So, for parents, of course, starting with the self, mm -hmm. be a role model. Right. Role model. Role model. This is the word that echoes to me every day. Right. Every day, I'm talking to my daughter, and I go back to work, and I'm reflecting in the inside and said. did i what i said was correct or not mm -hmm. were my actions with my daughter this morning correct or not i reflect back again in the night mm -hmm. taking the time to become a role model right. once you become the change they will naturally inspire they come to you you don't have to go to them right and listening another important aspect mm -hmm. parents have to build this listening listening when you listen they understand but without listening we start judging them very quickly right right we are like out there and, and demanding and demanding the change absolutely right let's go for a short break we'll come back sure. and learn a little bit more as to what the youngsters also need to do as you have pointed out yep. about the parents after the short break we'll be back thank you 
ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸੁਮਨ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਕਿ ਟੀਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਉਹ ਫੇਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇੰਟਰਨਲ ਅਤੇ ਐਕਸਟਰਨਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਰੀਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਚੇਂਜਸ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਤੌਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੰਟਰਨਲ ਅਤੇ ਐਕਸਟਰਨਲ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਪੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਰੋਲ ਪਲੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਪਾ ਇਹੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਹੋਵੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਇਹ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਭਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਨ ਲਈ ਤਿਆਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸੁਮਨ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਤਾਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿ ਐਸ ਰੋਲ ਮਾਡਲਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਮਰਜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੀਚ ਕਰ ਲਈਏ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸ ਰੋਲ ਮਾਡਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਏਗਾ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੱਲੇ ਬੰਨ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੋ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਐਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਸੁਣੀਏ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗਾਈਡ ਕਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਖੜੀਆਂ ਰਹਿਣਗੀਆਂ ਇਸ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਣੀ JP Transmissions ਉਹ ਵਨ ਸਟਾਪ ਟੋਟਲ ਆਟੋ ਕੇਅਰ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵਾਜਬ ਕੀਮਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਰੀਬਿਲਡ ਆਟੋਮੈਟਿਕ ਤੇ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਕਲਚਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਜਨਰਲ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਹਰ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਇੰਪੋਰਟਡ ਤੇ ਯੂਰੋਪੀਅਨ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ 1 ਟਨ ਤੋਂ 5 ਟਨ ਟਰੱਕ ਜ਼ੂਜ਼ੂ ਤੇ ਹੀਨੋ ਲਈ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਸਕੈਨਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਮਲਟੀ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਚੈੱਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਬੈਸਟ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਆਓ 8951152 ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਸਰੀ ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਪੈਰ ਮਹਲ ਸ਼ੰਭੂ 6045891217 once again welcome back to the program ajj this program which dr suman sade nal sanj pa rahe ne te dass rahe ne ki kis tarike nal teens de jehde challenges ne ohna nu maa baap te bacche ikatthe ral ke sahi tarike nal us de solutions lab sakde ne break to pehla jis tarah gal baat hui si ke be a role model and listen to the children hor maa pe ki karan te bacche ki karan aa kuch hor jaan kar lene so for the parents anything else which they need to do absolutely in fact especially for the parents who are about to give birth to a child or future parents mm-hmm. sunita ji says this parenting starts from the day conception happens absolutely because they are listening in the womb oh, yeah. of the mother science right? has also proved this now right yeah so every attitude every talk every discussion every uh, thing that you are doing every action mm-hmm. reflects and the inner being your inner child right. or the real child mm-hmm. is listening to it it's right. actually emulating the behavior inside and when it's actually coming out it's already emulated most of its behavior through this conditioned process that happens right so start from right there mm-hmm. start from right there and then from there of course like i said reflective practices for parents every day mm-hmm. and then teachers another big because they spend about 80% of their time in the school absolutely so we need teachers also to start embracing this mm-hmm. role model behavior right when they understand the body and the mind and emotions and they are able to come to a class with that full energy mm-hmm. and are able to inspire inspire is what we need today not motivation right motivation can be done from lectures and all oh of yeah. that but when you emulate that like i see my daughter when she says you know there are certain teachers she's like wow they are amazing that Hmm. because they are inspiring i remember from my own childhood right. there are teachers whom we are like wow they are imprinted in your brain Absolutely. so teachers is very important mm-hmm. and then i think as a society hmm. uh, and then i'll come to teenagers yeah. itself and as a society i feel and this is of course a very big dream every school i think we need to have a class every day or at least once a week <coughs> to teach about who am i and you right. don't have to go to religion about that it could be from simple scientific way right every week we need a class in every school talk, talking about <coughs> what is body what is mind what are emotions how they are impacting what is neuroplasticity how you can change your brain how you can empower how do you catch that energy this education is a, i call this education of heart absolutely right which is very important in today's society right especially with the violence and all of the things that we are seeing today mm-hmm. it could all start from changing their perspective and saying hey we are all one how do you bring that oneness right, right? starting in the classroom mm-hmm. because lot of divisiveness and uh, diversity is happening in the classroom oh yes right? absolutely and if we can start to build that at that level mm-hmm. we'll make one difference right. and now coming to the
let all the uh, negativity leave toxins leave from your body right. at the body level and then good nutrition drink lots of water in the morning right. take good nutrition yes mcdonald's fries are good burgers are good once in a while pizza is good mm -hmm. but nutritious food green leafy vegetables giving mm -hmm. the heart what is important right. right and then that is the first step and then lungs breathing which we talk teach in our sukshma practices in all these workshops mm -hmm. simple breathing exercise because once you take your breathing deep right. breathing it stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system it calms you yeah. so that whenever you are faced with a tough situation mm -hmm. you are ready to face it even when you are in a stressful situation simple deep breathing right. and other breathing exercise that we teach will help you train your lungs mm -hmm. and train your nervous system right. and then of course finally the most important is the brain yeah how do you do that getting that good night sleep mm -hmm. very important these days if you see children they are addicted to social media and their devices right. the last thing that they check before go to sleep is their phone yeah. and then they are going with all <coughs> those thoughts and i ask my uh, you know daughter and other children around i say you have this little brain and you are trying to dump all this much information right. how is it going to hold it right. it's going to explode one day Absolutely. right and that's what is happening today in the world right. so uh, taking good rest and cultivating a habit of meditation every day right. true meditation real meditation not the meditation where you are just going around around right. but catching that center uh -huh. and relaxing right after coming from school few minutes take 10 minutes every day after right. coming from school have a snack just take a shower or whatever close your eyes keep that smile and focus on your heart mm -hmm. self reflection right. and once you start to build that you are taking care of your heart lungs and brain mm -hmm. and then you can catch that energy and of course if you have wise people around you please dears i'm telling you money name fame power will not come with you in your life they right. will not rescue in your life right. you will regret any of these things later mm -hmm. all that comes with you is that pure energy your connection with your heart right. so build that from your teenage mm -hmm. you have the power to prune your brain the way you want that Absolutely. is neuroplasticity scientific right. research is proving that yeah. so the thoughts that you have ask the question every day what is my purpose in my life mm. what is the purpose in my life why am i here ask these two questions mm -hmm. and the third one of course who am i right who am i what is the purpose of my life why am i here ask these questions and leave it mm -hmm. and your brain will keep Uh, replaying those developing, in developing that Wonderful. and then you can find your true self that's great these are very simple things but if adopted they can really help a yes. youngster thank you very much for this information welcome aaj jo si gal baat ki thi us de vich dr sumanne sanu dasya ki kis tarah maa baap apna role play kar sakde ne role model ban ke unnu sun ke teachers jade ne inspire karan bachcha nu society jo hai us de vich aisi classes lagan jithe ke eh pehchan kiti ja sake ki who am i kyon assi itthe aaye hai तो बच्चों वास्ते इन्होंने कहा कि तीन चीज़ों पर फोकस किया जाए हार्ट्स लंग्स एंड ब्रेन अपना हार्ट जोड़ा है उस वास्ते सवेरे उठ के छोटी मोटी एक्सरसाइज की जाए उस तो अलावा लंग्स में क्लीन करने वास्ते चंगा पौष्टिक खाना जोड़ा है वो खाधा जाए तो ब्रेन में डिवेलप करने वास्ते जिस तरह ने कहा कि कुछ ना कुछ समा जरूर अपने आप में दिता जाए थ्रू मैडिटेन तो रात को चंकी स्लीप जी बच्चों जरूर लेनी चाहिए है उस उसने कहा कि हूँ अपने आप की प्रूनिंग की जाए ब्रेन की किड़िया थॉट्स जड़िया ने सही ने साडे वास्ते कि माड़िया ने एक पॉजिटिव थॉट्स ही जो सा खजाना है नाम पैसा ये चीज़ा तो चले जाएगी लेकिन एक चीज़ जी रहेगी साड़ा कनैक्शन साढ़े हार्ट न की है सो आओ सारे इंस्पायर करें अपने बच्चों ताकि वह बैटर सिटीजनस कल दे बन सकन